We believe in the free market of ideas, but we are competing. Make no mistake about it. We are competing, right? And both sides of our cultural battles are aiming for total victory and dominion. Ours is a victory and dominion that flows from redemption from the seven horns of the Lamb. Theirs is a victory and dominion that flows from an all-powerful state. Both are in an all-out war to capture planet Earth, and both spiritual armies have what? They have humans as their agents. So don't forget, we are in a spiritual battle. It is especially a spiritual battle, but it affects all of life, all of politics. Christians cede way too much territory to the demonic when we are silent about the Bible and about Christ's kingdom, when we begin using the same demonic political strategies that the demonic politicians use. We need to depend on grace and proudly wear the name of Christ in the public arena and proudly glorify God in the public arena and proudly promote God's law in the public arena. Those are our tools. Satan loves to take the eyes of people off of Christ and to put them on the saint. And he's been pretty successful in our generation, even with Christians. I don't know how many of my Christian friends always look to the state, in their case it's the Republican Party, to be the Savior, and they're willing to cede more and more and more power to their Savior to deliver them. And it is a counterfeit to Christ and his kingdom.